Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie and I couldn't be any happier to have you here in my kitchen. If you're new here, I upload content usually on cooking, sometimes farming, sometimes day in the life of, sometimes grocery hauls. You never know what you're going to get, but you can count on some kind of blooper at some point in time or some mistake that I've made. So you can make it a game. It can be a game. Where are Leslie's bloopers? <laughs> but anyway, if you haven't hit subscribe, I would love for you to do so. If you have, welcome back. You know I love you. Okay, so today we're making a quick, easy, kind of grab-and-go snack. This week is VBS, Vacation Bible School at church, and so it's going to be a busy week. So I want something we can just reach in and grab and munch on if we need to. So today we're making jalapeno poppers. So don't go anywhere. Use the intro as a time to hit subscribe if you haven't done so. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Okay, so this, not really recipe, but this way of doing jalapeno poppers can go in so many different directions. There's no real recipe. The main two ingredients you need are three. Let's go three ingredients. The main three ingredients you need to know are jalapenos, cream cheese, and bacon. The rest of the stuff I'm going to add is icing on the cake. It's, it's, you can change these toppings around. In fact, I was talking to a gentleman at church today who just happened to bring up jalapeno poppers, and that's what I had planned on doing. And he uses pickled, he uses the jalapeno to put it in, but then he mixes in pickled jalapenos into his cream cheese and like pineapple tidbits, and he says they are to die for. They are so good. And so I don't have those ingredients here today, and I'm really not supposed to have pineapple, uh, but one day I'm going to try it because it sounds interesting, and it actually sounds really, really good. So I'm not going to add a recipe to the description like I normally do. So the main thing to remember are the three things, and then you add what you want to. If you want to remember what I'm adding, grab you a piece of paper and just kind of uh, mark it down as we go. In fact, some of these things I just thought of right before I came on here and started grabbing them. Um, you can kind of add into this what you want. You could put black olives. You could do the, anything. So if you want to know what I do, and remember, just get you a pen and paper and uh, write it down, jot it down as we go. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is prepare my jalapeno. I normally wear gloves for this because I'm a little bit sensitive, my skin is, um, to the jalapenos. But let me show you what I'm going to do. I just cut the top off and I'm going to cut it in half. And you can lay it down and cut it in half. You can do anything like that you want. I'm then going to take, I'm going to kind of score it a little bit. making sure it kind of cut down around the side. But then I'm going to just take a spoon and scrape it out, the membrane and the seeds. Now, if you like a little heat, you can add the leave the membranes and the seeds in. Um, but I, like I said, I just like to kind of score around the membrane just a little bit. Nothing major. You don't even really have to do that. It's just a step I like to do. And you're just going to clean it out right like so. Okay, 
I'm, I've got several jalapenos here. I'm not sure how many I'm going to use. Um, I'm probably going to do four jalapenos. We'll see. I don't know exactly how many I have. But we'll check them out and I'll be back as soon as I get them all cleaned and ready to go. All right, I sliced up four of them and there's one here that is kind of flat, but that's okay because we're going to wrap it up and tuck it in. We're going to tuck the cream cheese and stuff in. So I'm going to open up, and I don't know if you want to see this on camera, but me opening up Philadelphia cream cheese is a hoot in and of itself. But it takes me a minute. Sometimes the package gets the best of me. All right, let me grab. I'm going to grab a heavy duty spoon, but I'm also going to grab a silicone spatula so I can get all the goodness here. All right. So to this, I'm going to add in a handful. Like I said, this is your, you add what you want. I'm going to add in some cheddar cheese. I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese. Oops. Got some clumps coming. They break up really easy. Okay, so let me get my big spoon here. Now, you could add artichokes into this. You could add olives. Like that gentleman said, you could add pineapple. I'm going to add, even though I'm wrapping it, even though I'm going to be wrapping it in bacon, I'm actually going to add in some bacon bits. I think that's just going to make it really, really super yummy and delicious. And so I have just some store-bought real pieces of bacon. We're going to put just a few in here. Okay, guys, I'm going to get this stirred up, mixed up well, and I'll bring you back when we get ready to stuff the jalapenos. Oh, and did I mention we're doing these in the air fryer? We are going to do these in the air fryer. So they're going to be super easy, super quick. And super delicious. You don't have to wait on these. You could get this mixture made up, leave it in the refrigerator, and just whenever you wanted a jalapeno popper, just grab you out a pepper, cut it, and then stuff it and wrap it and fry it in the air fryer. So, okay. All right. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys. I'm just going to get some of this cream cheese mixture. I really and truly want to try the pineapple. I wish I had some pineapple. <laughs> I just think that sweetness with the heat and the savoriness of everything else, I just think that would be wonderful. So I'm going to maybe next time try that. All right, guys, I'm going to stuff these and I'll be back when we get ready to wrap them with bacon. Did I forget to tell y'all that? We're wrapping these with bacon. Guys, before I go any further, I'm going to add one more thing. <laughs> so I'm going to get my, another spoon back out. But I'm going to add a little bit of some ranch seasoning. I think that would be really, really good. You know, that's how I do things. When things hit me, I just add. I just add. I had it out and I... And then I decided not to, and then I decided to, so we're adding it in. Okay, so now I'm going to finish stuffing them, and I'll be back when it's time to wrap them in bacon. 
Okay, so I did have a little bit left over and I have two peppers left over. I'm going to scoop this out, stick it in the fridge, and put the peppers back in the fridge. And I'm sure we'll be fixing this up maybe before the night's over. Or if not tonight, definitely in the next couple of days. So, now you can do half a slice of bacon if you're so inclined. But what's the fun in that? What's the fun in half a slice of bacon? Let's go with the whole thing. So, let me, it might be easier if I turn it down. Just going to take one. And just wrap this bacon around. Right like that. Now, I'm going to preheat my oven to three, I mean, not oven, my air fryer to 350 degrees. So we're gonna get it preheated. And then it's gonna air fry, I'll put it in the air fryer at 350 for about um, 15 minutes. So 350 in a preheated 350 air fryer for about 15 minutes. So okay guys, I'm gonna finish wrapping them. I'll see you back when they come out of the air fryer. All right, everybody, here they are. I'm gonna wait just a minute before I call Brian in for a taste test. Do you know why? One, he's just getting up from his Sunday nap. And two, these will scald his mouth. <laughs> they will burn. So we're gonna let him cool just a minute and then he'll come in here and give them a taste and we'll see what we think. So I'm so excited about trying them with the little pineapple tidbits in it. I think that would be really good. The more I think about it, the more the idea, look who's coming. Hey, 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 everybody. The more the idea is um, hey, you know appealing oh, to me. I got some of my shirt. Where did I get on my shirt? You know what that sounded like? What? Hey, 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 Bad Albert. Bad Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all remember that show? That's what it sounded like. Right. What's in my shirt? Is it a stripe? I don't know. We'll look at it in a minute. Just ignore my shirt, okay? <clears throat> Here we go. Try it. Ready? This is mine. Oh, you get to have one? I get to have one. Okay. Right. They're hot. They're hot. Not spicy hot. What's in the center? Um, temperature hot. Cheese? What else? Cream cheese. Cheese. Bacon. Really good. Ranch dressing. They are good. Where's the one I bit off of? Mm. I think it was this one. Mm -hmm. Y'all. That's really good too. What a fun snack. That's what it is, a snack? Mm hmm Yep. <coughs> <laughs> it's hot. Mm -hmm. Now, he asked me a great question while I go. This is what if your viewers don't have an air fryer? That's good. That's really good. That's really good. Is no. it too spicy for you? No, that's not too spicy. Um, he does not do spice <laughs> much. So if he can eat this, y'all can eat this. Yeah, it's not spicy. Um, we'll get to it. He asked me, what do you do if they don't have an air fryer? I said, you can do it in the oven. You just need to leave it longer. What temperature? 350. I do it at the same temperature. 350. How long? In the oven? Mm-hmm. Well, I would just check it. You just want to do it till your bacon's done. Because everything else is going to be melty and ooey and gooey. No, it took it took 15 in the air fryer. So oh. I'm thinking 20, 25 minutes. <clears throat> just mm -hmm. check and see when your bacon looks done. Yeah. That's all. That is good right there. Mm -hmm. Forgive us mm. for smacking and... I'm dead. That's that is good. good. That is really good. All right, guys. There you have it. This is an easy, easy peasy throw together. Mm -hmm. I've kept some of my mix in the refrigerator. I've got two more jalapeno peppers whenever I want it. I'll just cut them babies up, wrap me a slab of peanut butter. Don't slap peanut butter on it. A slap of bacon around it. And um, see, there's one of my bloopers. <laughs> um, this is delicious. So good. 
so good. Y'all. Mmm. Look. The plate's almost all gone. How many did he eat? I'm still eating in one. I'm wondering how many he ate now. Okay, y'all, these are so good. Oh. All right, so there you have it. Now stay tuned. I'm not going to end the video here. I'm going to show you opening night of VBS at our church. The wild and crazy VBS. We're doing it on food trucks, which you know is right up my alley. Food trucks. And um, I'm super excited. So, I'll see you at VBS. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm not at church, nor am I at VBS. <laughs> um, it was so much fun yesterday, and my job is kind of at the beginning of VBS. And um, it was so much fun, I forgot to, um, my hair is messed up. I forgot to film. Anyway, so, yeah, I forgot. So that just means you've got to stay tuned this week and check out any other videos I may do. I hope to catch some of VBS. It was so much fun. Tonight, I'm probably going to go with Judah's class. Judah is very high strung and when he's around a lot of other kids and there's a lot of stimulation, he gets even more high strung. So I think I'm going to go, Bubbles is going to hang with Judah tonight to kind of help the teachers a little bit because there's several kids that are the exact same way that are pretty high strung. So I'm going to go just to help contain my, <laughs> my family. And uh, Levi is not high strung. He's very, um, the only problem with Levi is he's very clingy. He doesn't want you to leave. So it's actually best if none of us are in the class with him, if that makes sense. Um, but Judah just needs that extra eye and that person he knows to, you know, make him behave. So, I hope to um, film tonight, but I will be filming probably just his part of the class and everything. So, I'm excited. Um, last night, I, I, I didn't do a whole lot. I, my part, like I said, is at the beginning, and I just kind of collect... We're doing food donations from the kids um, for our local food pantry type thing. And um, we're putting the kids' names in a box if they bring something. So if at the end of the week, they'll get a prize um, if their name is drawn. So anyway, I'm heading out now to go grocery shopping. You will see this on tomorrow's video. I'll do a grocery haul plus some VBS since I'm not cooking tonight. I told Bryant, I'm not cooking and he's going to have to take me out to eat, either before or after BPS. So, I may be eating early or I may be eating really late. So, alright, so I will see you guys tomorrow on The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything and you've got to try those jalapeno poppers. They are so good. Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.